Top 10 Best Trail Running Shoes Review Best Choice Hoka 1 1 Speed Goat 4 Best Overall Trail Running Shoe Hoka 1 1 may have built their reputation around soft, heavily cushioned road and trail runners, but we think their Speed Goat 4 is an exceptional all rounder. The shoe has the brand's signature thick midsole. The design hits a near ideal balance of comfort, weight, protection, and responsiveness, and as such, is a great option for hiking. The aggressive outsole is our favorite, with substantial lugs and tacky, Vibra Mega Grip rubber that hold well in everything, from dry dirt and mud to steep rock. Tack on a medium width toe box that fits a broad range of foot shapes, plus available wide sizes for both men and women, and the Speedgoat is our favorite trail running shoe. The Speedgoat 4 is Hoka's technical trail offering, and the substantial midsole does inspire a lot of confidence while running over roots or sharp rocks. Hoka did make some small tweaks with the 4, including a slightly firmer foam and more durable upper. For the vast majority of runners, covering serious distances over fairly rough terrain, the Speedgoat hits a sweet spot between performance and cushioning. Pros Great mix of lightness and versatility. Aggressive traction. Great on trail performance. Standout comfort and traction in a lightweight package. Cons. Thick midsole minimizes trail feel in technical sections. Premium pick. Salomon, Sense Ride 3. Best shoe for rugged trails. For everything from rugged local trails to mountain missions, you'll want a shoe with a sticky rubber sole, added protection around the foot and extra durability in the upper, and a stiffer build, that can handle technical rock, and even accommodate a crampon. The Salomon, Sense Ride 3, nails the equation, and even tacks on a good deal, of midsole cushioning, for high mileage days. The result is, a shoe that is adept on glaciers, and can scramble low fifth class rock, but also tackles trail miles, with ease. Within the mountain running category, the Salomon, Sense Ride 3, is the best all rounder but there are a number of other options. Shoes like, the La Sportiva Bushido 2 below, take on more of a cleat-like persona, and are arguably better, on technical terrain, but they come up short, on smooth paths. Arcteryx's, Norvin VT below, is another solid alternative, and even tacks on a climbing zone, on the sole for those rocky summits, but it's more of an investment, at $170. So, the Sense Ride 3, puts it all together better than most, and it has become, our trusted companion, for mountain missions, that include a long trail approach, and a variety of cross-country travel. Pros. Cushioned, and out-of-box comfort, at reasonable price. Great grip, and breathable. Comfortable, for miles of trail, yet adept, in technical mountain terrain. Cons. There are better options, for rock scrambling. Best Value. Ultra, Lone Peak 4.5. Best, Zero Drop Trail Runner. Ultra quickly progressed, from an unknown, to a go-to brand, in the trail running community, and much of their rapid ascent, can be attributed to the rise in popularity, of zero drop shoes. Many brands, have experimented with this trend, but the Lone Peak, is our favorite model, for both, trail running, and through hiking. Like other shoes, in the Lone Peak series, the 4.5 features a wide toe box, and moderate cushioning, which lend comfort, for high mileage days, on moderate terrain. But, the shoe has a few downsides. First off, the zero drop design, is not for everyone. Those, accustomed to a more typical trail runner, might find it slightly more sluggish, than the speed goat above, and Bushido below, and it isn't as capable, in off camber sections of trail. Further, the wide toe box, can lead to a sloppy feel, over technical terrain, especially, for those with narrow feet. As with most running footwear, one person's downside, is another's benefit. All in all, the Lone Peak 4.5, is our favorite zero drop shoe, in spite of a number of great other options available out there. Pros. Can handle great range of trail, from moderate, to technical. Cushioned, and very comfortable. Cons. Slightly sluggish feel. Hard to trust in off-camber, or technical sections. Hoka, 1-1, Challenger ATR6. Best, pavement to trail, running shoe. Hoka's Challenger ATR6, offers a mixing road, and trail shoe characteristics, in one nice, all-in-one solution, for combined mediums on a daily run. Like the Speedgoat above, 
The shoe has excellent cushioning and comfort, thanks to a thick midsole and a streamlined build and rocker base, give it a springy personality. You get a lightweight and efficient road feel with a section of standard blown rubber on the outsole, while pods of trail worthy lugs can be found under the ball of the foot and heel. The updated 6 features a revamped upper from recycled plastic and the greatly improved fit appeal to most runners. Trying to do everything for everyone does come with some compromises. In the case of the ATR6, its closely spaced lugs come up short in muddy and sloppy conditions and the flexible outsole is noticeably less planted over rocky terrain than a dedicated trail shoe. On pavement, the grippy sections of the sole can feel a little sticky and slow compared to a standard road model. So, the Challenger is one of the best designs to use for runs that mix together sections of road and fairly easy to trail. Pros Super light, but with plush cushioning. One of the few capable hybrid trail road shoes. Cons Tread and stability fall short in soft or especially rugged terrain. Topo Athletic Men's Mountain Racer Trail Running Shoe. Best of the rest. Topo Athletic was founded by the former CEO of Vibram, knowing what goes into making a good running shoe, and the Mountain Racer is a standout trail specific model in their quiver. The Mountain Racer features a wide toe box and locked in waist and heel, lending all day comfort for swollen and hard working feet. But the Topo Athletic tacks on some technical chops with a 5 mm drop, slightly firmer cushioning, and a small decrease in weight. After over 400 trail miles, in one pair of mountain racers, the shoe impresses with high degree of comfort, durability, and trail handling. The mountain racer, features its deep lugs, and a Vibram Mega Grip sole, for excellent hold on rocky, and rooted trails. But, for true mountain travel, you'll want a more supportive, and protective shoe, like the Salomon Sense Ride 3 above, E or Arcteryx Northern VT2, below. We've also found, the mountain racer, to be very capable in wet weather. The upper is designed with minimal bulk and drainage ports, and when your feet do get wet, they dry quickly. While many runners appreciate the Mountain Racer for its spacious toe box, if you're looking for a true wide size, EE for men, D for women, there are a number of options, including our top rated Speed Goat above. Pros Approach shoe grip with hiking shoe comfort and weight. Awesome balance of hiking and climbing abilities. Great support. Cons Narrow feet, will swim in the toe box. Arcteryx, Norvin VT2, Trail Running Shoe. Combining key traits of both, a trail runner, and an approach shoe, Arcteryx's Norvin VT, is an ideal pick, for moving quickly, in mountainous terrain. It features a lightweight build, cushioned midsole, and a breathable upper. But, the Norvin VT, short for vertical, makes its climbing intentions clear, with a streamlined toe box, ground hugging design and mega grip outsole, with a climbing zone, underneath the big toe. This is a great option, for peak bagging, and high country scrambles, when you want a bit more grip, stability, and protection. The Northern VT, takes it one step further, than the Sense Ride 3, above. A stiffer build, and stickier sole, give it an extra dose of performance, particularly on rock. But, unlike the Salomon, the Arcteryx becomes overkill, on anything tame. Thus, the Norvin is a specialized shoe, best for mountain running, and particularly, routes with minimal trail mileage. For a more cushioned, and flexible option, that's comfortable on moderately technical terrain, check out Ultra, Lone Peak 4.5. The Norvin VT, is on the narrow side, as wide-footed testers, found the toe box, to be prohibitively tight. Pros. Excellent cushioning, and comfort, in a lightweight, and flexible package. Very capable over steep and technical terrain. Cons. Narrow fit, too specialized, for most runners. Scarpa, Spin Ultra, Trail Running Shoes, SS21. Scarpa, is most known for climbing and mountaineering footwear. So it comes as no surprise, that their Spin Ultra, is a capable companion, on the trail. True to its name, the Spin Ultra, is a great ultra distance shoe, thanks to its generous cushioning, wide toe box, and breathable upper. And, when the trail turns technical, a sticky, Vibram Mega Grip sole keeps you on your feet, while a tall stack height and rigid heel provide stiffness and protection underfoot. The end result is a shoe that can speed down 
long sections of easy trail, but still holds its own on rocky and off-camber terrain, similar to the Salomon, since Ride 3, above. Although, it hasn't been around for long, the Spin Ultra has quickly risen in popularity among ultra racers and mountain runners alike. Compared to the Sense Ride 3, the Scarpa is lighter by a little less than one ounce per shoe and offers slightly more isolation from the ground with a stiffer and taller heel. But its upper lags behind the Salomon in terms of durability, especially around rock or if you're strapping on a crampon. In the end, we think the Spin Ultra performs slightly better on trail. While the Sense Ride 3 is a better choice for cross country travel. Pros Very comfortable and grippy. Relatively lightweight. Cushioned for long distances, but still has great technical chops. Cons No rock plate, and some might not like the isolated feel. Nike Air Zoom Terra Kiger 6. Nike puts most of their efforts into road running gear, but their Terra Kiger 6 is a quality, cushioned option for trail work. With the most recent update, the Terra Kiger features a revamped mesh upper that's designed to better keep out mud and other trail debris, alongside an approved fit in the forefoot. Other familiar features remain unchanged, such as the highly responsive React foam in the midsole, segmented rock plate, sturdy toe cap, and outsole that grips particularly well in hard packed dirt and rock. All in all, the Terra Kiger 6 amounts to a solid all rounder that's well deserving of a spot on this list. In many ways, the Nike Terra Kiger is a direct competitor to the Topo Athletic Mountain Racer above. They both weigh about 10 ounces per shoe, have a 4mm offset, and provide a similar mix of cushioning, flexibility, and on-trail performance. We give the edge to the Mountain Racer for its superior outsole that lasts longer and grips better in muddy and wet conditions, but both are great shoes that are equally adept at short and long-distance runs. For a beefed-up alternative to the Terra Kiger, for rough terrain, check out Hoka 11 Speed Goat 4. Pros: Nike's proven road running technology, tailored for trail use, very rugged and durable, stylish look with well-cushioned interior. Cons: Shoes above have a better outsole design. La Sportiva Men's Bushido 2 Running Shoe. La Sportiva is a climbing company, and this is reflected in their Mountain Ready. Bushido 2 Trail Runner. With a semi-stiff platform and burly lugs, the Bushido is one of our favorite shoes for technical trails. It's responsive, grips remarkably well, even over slippery rocks and roots, and is stable on challenging terrain. And, unlike a heavily cushioned model, the La Sportiva retains excellent trail feel that can be a downside if you prefer a lot of isolation from harsh impacts. Tack on a durable upper and toe cap and the Bushido is a solid, and confidence-inspiring, workhorse of a shoe. Keep in mind, that serious mountain runner, as the La Sportiva, is more cleat-like, than a standard trail shoe. In fact, it's even stiffer, than the mountain-focused Arc'teryx, Norvin VT, above. But, if you tackle the steeps, and want a reliable partner, we highly recommend the Bushido. Its performance, fit, and high levels of stability, and traction, truly make it a standout, Pros. Light, tough, and extremely well built. A superb technical shoe, with awesome traction. Cons. Overkill, and stiff for trail jogging. Salomon, Speed Cross 5, Men's Trail Running Shoe. Salomon, has been, in the trail running game, for a long time, and the Speed Cross 5, packs in, all of their well known features. A single pull lace system, supportive fit, and sturdy, but still reasonably light chassis. What sets the Speed Cross 5 apart is, its massive, 6mm arrow-shaped lugs. Most trail shoes are about 4mm, which offer, best-in-class traction, over soft ground, like dirt, mud, and even snow. The performance-oriented, and narrow fit, isn't for everyone, but the Speed Cross's thick midsole, and supportive upper material, makes it a capable, mountain-ready design. We rank, the Speed Cross 5, lower on the list, due to its less stable ride, over sketchy stretches, of trail. Whereas shoes like the Bushido, and Norvin VT, sit low, and are planted, the tall stack height, of the speed cross, can feel tippy, and prone to rolling over, particularly on rock. And, if you're intrigued by the speed cross, it's worth checking out Salomon's, Sense Ride 3, 
which offers a more stable and cushioned alternative and features a wider toe box, it's a more forgiving and versatile all rounder. And, for those who regularly get out in the cold and wet, the Speedcross 5 is also sold in Gore Tex version, which retail for $160. Pros Sturdy and quite comfortable. Truly excellent traction in soft ground. Cons Less stable than the Bushido 2 above.